Hey, Nomad. Guess we'll do a new game. Just for fun. Freaking easy mode. It's been a long Monday. Yeah, and I'm used to the Forbidden West controls, <laughs> so I think these ones are a little different, so let's start from the beginning. Oh, I forgot about Rost. Well done, that's a good boy. <laughs> I find Forbidden West is harder. Children, come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. You're too cool for them anyway. Part was so cool, and I had no idea what was going on. Yeah, it does feel a little weird. Looks tight, but I can get through. This 
must be a rune of the metal world. I the old place. Ross said never go in places like this. But I have to find a way out. Oh, hey, Zelda Thon. So far, so good. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by. Thanks for the follow, too. There's something up ahead. What's that? A dead person. There's something shiny there. Yeah, I love this game too. Definitely one of my favorites. The first time I played it, just wondering what was going on was so cool. Aloy doesn't fall down the hole and then the world ends because she didn't save it. That would suck. Lights. Everywhere. But it's weird coming back to this having beaten Forbidden West and like knowing the whole story. device I found can help. How do I get it open? <laughs> that too, Zelda Clown UK. <laughs> cool special device, but everyone in Forbidden West has one. <laughs> Come on, Phil, we gotta red pill the masses, as they say. This is probably the red pill, I don't know. <laughs> changed color. Red fill them all. I think my pun counter works. I don't know how to clear it, so it's just like a grand total. <laughs> yes, my bot is alive. That was worth 31 puns, Phil. <laughs> Honestly, I think Nomad's most of those. <laughs> the door changed color and promo too. when he drops by. I'm looking forward to throwing a rock at somebody soon. <laughs> I'm gonna be mean. Daddy sure does love his little big man. 
Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Show me. Show me again. What I can do is right behind you. Hi! Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Aw, so Look, wholesome. Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but... We can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Yeah, little Aloy's so cute. I forgot. <laughs> I love that scene where she transitions into adult Aloy after the roll. That's so cool. And I remember it after all these years. <laughs> Why did they die here? What happened to them? I literally scan like everything in my other file, so I'll skip it for now because I'm not sure how far I'll get tonight. Definitely Zelda Thon. He found me. Ross found me. Aloy! Down here. <laughs> I thought I glitched it out for a second. Come, girl. Take my hand. You don't belong down there. Come. <laughs> Such places are forbidden. Yeah, the killer robots destroyed all the coffee beans, and that's how civilization ended. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. No. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! survive in the wild come Aloy home now but starting tomorrow you will learn to hunt Coffee beans are critical to the survival of humanity. Unless you drink tea. That's important too. Take your bow. Bow? And enough muttering to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. Wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now, you're still scratched up from that fall you I'm took playing on day. story mode, so, so I can probably do what I want <laughs> without dying. I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant over here? It's, it's Monday Salvage. night, and I had a long day. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. Good. Now eat the berries. They may taste bitter, but they could save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries and flowers. Those berries must be coffee beans. Where are we? This valley is just a part of all mothers embraced. Embraced. The Nor tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines, usually. 
<laughs> Don't laugh too hard when I do. I can see me doing that. Further down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Are they Can I throw the rock yet? <laughs> All machines are dangerous. I know. I'll be patient. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. Ross, this is story mode. We can sneeze there. on them and they'll die. Now stay low. They don't want no, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you so are satisfying alive, shooting them in the eye. <laughs> Listen close and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. Now keep low and follow me across the trail to that tall grass. Doing the DLC for this is on my to-do list, because I have a version that includes it now. After Fallout, I need to finish That's that. The last of them. Then I also got addicted to Final Fantasy XIV, so I got a lot going on in my gaming life right now. You did well. They didn't see or hear you. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. Then he is a fool. The tribe does sound like a bunch of jerks. Come now. Let's find that herd. Follow. The first stick I picked up. That one was for Kim. There. See them? These are called striders. Ha! Get! Why'd you chase them off? Huh. To show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you how to use them. Good. Those will do. Follow. Rock on, Aloy. Oh, good. I found the dodge button. Right? No, but they can distract them, draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with, or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. 
warn you. How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy. Unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the Watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. There. Come, girl, it's safe now. Harvest the kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Good. I see you've already gathered stocks of Ridgewood. Use the stocks as arrow shafts and metal shards for our heads. Forgot where the L1 button was. <laughs> Did I mention it's been a long day? Good. You'll never run out of arrows if you know how to craft what you need. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. Oh yeah, I love the tripcaster in this one. Here, stay low on the grass and be quiet. It's time to make your first kill. Strider, one of the weaker machines. But even a weak machine can kill a hunter if she's careless. <laughs> I think I remember she's doing that a lot. <laughs> it's hide is thick. But there are spots where it is vulnerable. Like its eye. Can you yeah, I found Forbidden West a lot harder. It's still fun, though. The cat is still on its back. Is that a weakness? Again! I love story mode. <laughs> I do have to do a playthrough on you did well Ultra today. Hard or whatever they call it much to for learn. a trophy eventually. Tomorrow, we train again. But not tonight. What was that? That boy. The one running the brave trails. Follow Eloy. Quick.
do this slowly and quietly. I'm terrible at stuff. First time I played this, I failed this part so many times. There he is. Hey. What? What was this? I'm not even using the focus. <laughs> Mother, bless that girl. Bless you both. She, Boy! She saved me. I, I just wanted... Boy! Seal your lips! Dirk. They are outcasts both. And she is motherless. Come now. Back to Mother's heart. should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. We'll go home now. Follow. I know the way. Mother. The part I've been waiting for. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get it now. Ross totally rock blocked. Get it? Rock block? Haha. <laughs> ah. I'll be okay. You're bleeding. Let me have a look. Here. Hold still. I'll get it. Why? Shh. Why am I an outcast? Aloy. This is not the time. Who was my mother? Aloy. I've told you before, that's not for Your us. Your mother's to Elizabeth Sobek. You were just a newborn when the matriarchs brought you. Her crazy ex-girlfriend's gonna cause you trouble Dana? soon. <laughs> it's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, 
We are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It would be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves. But to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever it takes. I'll win the proving. I see. We'd best get started then. Your training will be hard. And it'll take years. Start training? Yes. Follow. There's a cool cutscene. I love this part. I want to sing a song for Mulan for some reason. <laughs> Look at that transition. Rost? 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 Where is he? Two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. A trophy for like smashing 30 of these or something. I can't remember. He said we go hunting this morning. Why isn't he here? Where's he gone to? What's he doing up there? He's just standing there. What's I think I'd use a guide. Why the hold up, dude? Did someone forget we were supposed to go hunting this morning? No, I did not forget. It always I've is, Phil. I've been about your training, <laughs> Aloy. You've learned to hunt, learned to survive. 
But I fear there's a lesson I failed to teach you. Would you learn it now? Of course. I'll always learn what you have to teach. There has been some trouble recently. It affords an opportunity to learn this lesson, but it will be dangerous. You must come prepared, or you will die. Descend into the embrace and hunt until you have gathered the parts for fire arrows. Fire arrows? What kind of trouble are we talking about? Once you have the parts, you will meet me there, at the gate beyond the village of Mother's Heart. The North Gate? At the edge of the embrace? Yes. Now be on your way. Is something else bothering you? No. I'm fine. Are you worrying about what happens after the proving? What happens is clear. You will be accepted as one of the tribe, and I will still be an outcast. To be shunned. Rost, even if the tribe accepts me, I won't... There is much to do, Aloy. We will discuss this later. <sighs> okay. I'll go gather the parts, but I'm also going to pay Karst a visit. Aloy, that man breaks the law every time he speaks to you. And I'm glad he does. I want to buy a trip caster, and no other trader will sell to outcasts. Stock it with ammunition, then. You'll find use for that weapon tonight. That sounds ominous. All right. See you I love her sarcasm. <laughs> Something's really bothering him. If you think something will bend him, he's wrong. <laughs> I died already. <laughs> right, fall damage is a thing. <laughs> Only I can die in story mode. That didn't happen, okay, Rost. <laughs> Something's really bothering him. If he thinks I'm gonna bend on him, he's wrong. You know what I tried to do? I hit the button for glider. You know why I did that? Because I'm used to Forbidden West. <laughs> That's my story and I'm sticking to it. That'll change after the proving. Two days. <laughs> Two days until I get answers. I keep forgetting I can't Two glide. Days, I <laughs> she was, and why I was cast out at birth. As if there could be an excuse for that. All right, time to gather the parts for some fire arrows. I should find a herd. Story mode. I'm sure I can sneeze on him. I didn't realize how useful the glider was. <laughs> You want to talk to an outcast? I'm desperate for help. Whatever the consequences. What's the problem then? Trouble with your leg? Forget about me. It's my daughter, Arana. She's in danger. She went after a scrapper near Mother's Cradle, and I fear for her life. I can't even stand up, let alone go after her. 
Will you help me find her? You know the matriarchs might cast you out for speaking to me, don't you? I don't care. I tried looking for her myself and my leg gave out. Just find her. I'll accept any punishment if it means she's safe. Why would your daughter hunt a scrapper on her own? It's my fault. I went after it first and it tore up my leg. I barely got away and I left a spear impaled in the machine. That spear was made by Adina, my mate, who died last year. It means everything to Arana. She, she went after the scrapper to get it back. You said Arana went to Mother's Cradle? Yes, southeast of here. I forbid her from going, but ever since her mother died, she's become impossible. Damn it, look at me. A widower, now a cripple. A father that can't find his daughter. Please, help me set things right. I'll do what I can to help your daughter. Make sure she's all right. I'm begging you. Will do, buddy. Saving his daughter seems important, so I'll go do that. I'm easily sidetracked. Save these. That must be Alana. Sounds like she's in trouble. Those watchers no problem, Ma. Apart. Your father sent me after you. It's time to go home. I figured. But I can't go back until I get my mother's spear from that scrapper. That spear must mean a lot to you. My mother made it not long before she died. I can't believe my father lost it. He didn't mean to. Scrappers are dangerous. I know. I just can't stand the idea that it might be gone forever. Your father is worried sick about you. He gets worried if I go ten steps to relieve myself in the bushes. He just... He doesn't want to lose you, Alana. I know. But I do wish he wouldn't yell at me so much. How did you wind up in that tree? I tracked the scrapper to Mother's Cradle. Caught a glimpse of it, too. But then a watcher saw me and called his pack. My own mother. I'm just not a good enough hunter to get that spear back, am I? I'll look for your spear. You will? Oh, thank you. Go find your father. His leg gave out while he was searching. Sure, sure. Everyone the hates the outcast oh, no. until they need something. Okay, I'll go to him right away. Thanks again.
I'll try not to kill any innocent animals. I always feel bad about that. Verona's trail ends here. Must be where she saw the scrapper. If I follow its tracks, I should be able to find that spear. Mother's cradle. Trail ends here. I'll bet it crossed the river. Better check the other side. <sighs> Time to see Karst and get a trip caster. Spear. A well made weapon. Arana will be happy to have it back. Right, no glider. <laughs> Why is that so hard to remember? There better be a glider in the third one. No one else around. Looks safe to meet. My guess is he'll be waiting for me. There he is. Looks nervous. been building for long enough. I hope so, Nomad. I can't freaking wait for the third one. I mean, there's obviously going to be a third one. <laughs> I haven't heard any official announcements, so... Yeah, it'd be nice if flying came earlier in the third one. Came at the tail end of the second me. one. First you send Arana back to me, and now you've got the spear. When I first called out to you for help, I didn't even know if you'd speak to me. I'm glad you did. Me too. I can't believe you got the spear back. Your mother knew how to craft them. It's of exceptional make. I'll never be the crafter she was, but she did pass along a few tricks. I'd be happy to take a look at your spear. Thank you. It sounds like she was special. I'm sorry for your loss. Well, because of you, I still have the spear to remember her by. You didn't have to help us, but you did. She would have admired that. 
Thank you, Aloy, for everything. Yeah, I didn't even know flying was going to be a thing, so I explored like all of the map almost before I got it. I'm like, oh, that would have been easier. Oh well. on my doorstep all mother protect me surprised you saw me the way you keep looking every other direction to make sure no one's watching careful there or you'll sprain your neck it's always a pain in the neck when you show up girl one way or another <laughs> stop acting like a chuff is there a reason why you're acting so cranky today once you run the proving and get made a brave you'll deal with traitors in mother's heart Maybe I don't like losing customers. Traitors who don't break the law and deal with outcasts, you mean? That's right. Our days of crime will be behind us, so long as you keep quiet. Are you worried I'm going to tell someone that you trade with outcasts? I don't think you're the kind who talks, but you never know. You can stop worrying. The secret's safe with me. Yeah, that's what I figured. I don't mind hearing it. The only person I've ever told about our trades is Rost. Yeah, well, not like he can turn me in, even if he wanted to. Law and duty sort of a man, that Rost. I don't know how you stand it. You really don't know why he was cast out? I've told you no. I don't think anyone knows what he did, but it must have been serious because his term is for life. Why do you take the risk, trading with outcasts? Every time you ask. If a big, meaningful talk is what you're after, move along. It's because you used to be one, isn't it? Yeah. Got caught poking around one of the metal ruins out beyond the embrace. Matriarch said I was tainted and gave me five years. What did you see in the ruins? Nothing I can make sense of. After my shunning, I tried living back in Mother's heart, but everyone I knew had moved on, and there were so many people everywhere I turned. I like it better out here. Last time I visited, you had a tripcaster available for trade. Still got it? I do. But you'd need to bring me a scrapper lens. What can I say? Special weapons don't come cheap. Oh, I can pay. Took down a scrapper not long ago. Stripped out the lens. Oh, good thing condition. I did that quest first. I'll be the judge of that. Show me. And now that you've got yourself a trip caster, practice how to use it someplace else, all right? My life's exciting enough without a bunch of shock wire booby traps to trip over. Really? Could have fooled me.
Will you be around later, in case I want to make another trade? I'll be here. Uh, same as usual, bring me the parts you I harvest. I don't remember the matriarchs. The <laughs> better the parts, the more shards I'll pay. Uh, oh yeah, they changed their tune once Ayla does something trio. big later. Who knows? Maybe I've got something that could give you an edge in the proving. I guess that concludes our business. All right. Good luck in the proving. Blessing of all mother and all that. Rare part. I've got what I need. Time to meet Rost at the North Gate. and shouts from outside the embrace. I wonder what's going on. Aloy. <clears throat> You're here. You have the fire arrows? I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? Look, Rost. I've thought it through, and I'm not going to shun you after the proving, okay? I'm just... I won't do it. I'm not about to pretend that you never raised me. Aloy, the law forbids all contact. It does, and I don't care. I know what duty means for you, Rost, but all tribal law has ever done for me is take things away. And that's not gonna happen again. Aloy, I must obey the law. And so you will. I knew you'd say that, so this is what we'll do. I'll come to you in secret. No one will see me, so I won't get in trouble. A and I know you won't talk to me because it's against the law, but I'll talk to you. It'll be my crime, not yours. You'll just listen. 
And that's how we'll handle this. Oh, this is sad. Especially knowing what happens later. Put a lot of thought into this. I know. So you can stop worrying. It's handled. Yes. So it is. I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Till then, we wait. I saw Karst and got that tripcaster I was talking about. I hate to think what that outlaw trader charged for a weapon of that make. It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. Opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. <sighs> so much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy. With threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new, something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. Yeah. Follow the path. It's not far. That cabin. What happened to it? A machine, that's what. What sort of machine does that? The sort of... A watcher carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. It won't be much farther now. Why are we the only ones out here tonight? Why can't the tribe's braves hunt this mission? They did. The kills we passed are theirs. Tomorrow, they will hunt again. They won't need to. This machine will be my kill. Or your death, if you're not careful. I love the crunch the sticks make when you pick them up. Just brute force it. <laughs> Ooh, 
Air buddy. It's on me. Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. I never ran out of sticks As for arrows, brave, that's for sure. Your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh, such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. I'll see you at Mother's Heart then. You will. Oh, I haven't even been using skill points. <laughs> Should probably do that.
So, it's time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. A center of Nora life. A jewel of the sacred land. Give it time. And you'll grow fond of it. As I was. Back when I was at the tribe. Are you sure they're gonna let me in? <laughs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Take this. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This... Attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. And <laughs> good riddance. Fine. Better for me, actually, to not have to waste any more time on you. I hope one day you will understand. See? It's easy throwing away worthless things, isn't it? I've disappointed you. I hope you'll forgive me someday. Day of all days. I, I can't. I can't think about it. Not now. I have to keep my mind on the proving. You will turn back out. <laughs> that was cold. I just want to increase her strength skill. <laughs> Your choice. Make way. Make way. Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Oh, I remember her. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I She's the nice one, more, isn't she? So rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja, come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. 
Carja. But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? Aloy! It's you, isn't it? Yeah. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider it the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Why, thank you. There. Seems to fit you perfectly. Thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. I mean, I like, but do I like? I don't remember this part. <laughs> nice. Why do you have to go climbing houses? What an idiot he is. Every year this happens, every year. At least he's not trying to run a brave trail. I tried. Get down from there, now! <laughs> oh, that's just what you want, Listen isn't it? For me to fall now. on my head! But well, you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning. Aloy, over here. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the Proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart, I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, a man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you, if you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. Until next time. Next time, you'll be a brave. Hey. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. 
For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. Aaron or something, I think his name is. come to us under a banner of peace. We're playing Machine Strike with him in Forbidden West. An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers and Slavers! Hey, hey, Luminance hold your God. fruit, Nora, Nora Faithful. Hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram. Hold your Karja. fruit. <laughs> so I'll put it just straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. Raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the cart. But the 13th king is dead. Two years now. Who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. Perhaps when the Harger come to make a man. I will deny the unknown device detected. No, What's that mean? He's wearing a You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like Can't remember if he's good or bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess you're not. Maybe you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. I think he's uh, bad. We'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard Have a night, Phil. Well, let me introduce you. Ring-locked, impact-protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers too. She could play Horizon all night, not go to work tomorrow. <laughs> Nora like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down, I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. I've never seen armor. You've never Oops, seen wrong button. Right? <laughs> yeah. Don't want to hear that again. What else do you know about Olin? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds <laughs> for ruins, yeah, digs up stuff, that's and exactly sells it, it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I wanted to ask you something else. If you want, but I'll also be around after that blessing thing. If that'd be a better time to talk. Sadly.
I know I about it. Ask away. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable. And, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what? All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! Captured, yes. Killed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire Vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? Oh, it won't let me on stage. <laughs> Are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern. Crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. In honor of Rost. And all he did to help me get here. All oh, mother, hear our prayer. prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. There's Owen. I have some questions for him. That blessing wasn't bad. Nice and short, anyway. But I know a half dozen Asaram tinkers who could put on a better fireworks show. Oops. And I hope I'm Nothing not compared to the Las Vegas, Vegas show. <laughs> it was nice. In Forbidden West. Really? Yeah, well. Out of the way, people. Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain, or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Mine's never malfunctioned. 
and I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape then? I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court. That's all. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need the bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was a little treat. Your, your very presence here! <sighs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. Oh yeah, I remember this jerk. I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. You didn't know the words to the blessing, did you? But no one hears your prayers anyway. Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. Doesn't she save him? I can't remember. Too bad for you that I'm gonna win it then. <laughs> I've trained all my life for this. If I lost to you, I'd make myself an outcast for life. Don't overestimate yourself. You wouldn't last long in the wilds. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. You should cherish it. If Rost hadn't shot my stone from the air, you'd be missing an eye. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. <laughs> nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well-rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. 
<laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. So, your first day in Mother's Heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It's loud, and it stinks, and the people are... idiots. <laughs> That's how I feel, people too. Who kept me out. Now here I am, stuck inside with them. I think you'll find more to like in the days ahead. I think most of them die, if I remember correctly. I think Olin has something to do with it. Well, it's Hades who wants her dead, and I think he sees through Olin's focus. If I'm remembering right, I don't know, it's been a while. Chili. Braves, ready yourselves. What will it take to get you out of here? Shattered outcast. Looks like you'll need another. What a jerk. Can I just kill him? <laughs> Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urvala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Go that way. That 
You know, wave it forward Just now. Stop right there. Just turn around. I can't see. Stop. The wall right behind you. Come on now. Faster. Stop dragging. We've gotta keep going. The outcast. On the old trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. Look! The outcast is catching up! How'd she get up there? Made it. Come on now, hurry. Keep at it. again. Oops. That's two deaths on story mode. Did it again. Not enough. Must be perfect. Come on, come on, you can make it. Can't let them beat me now. She is a brave now. We did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast. And now brave. Who is first among us. Ah! There's Hades cult coming in. Kill them all! No witnesses, no survivors! Are the Shadow Karja like worshipping Hades or something? Or am I remembering incorrectly? Stay together! Oh no! There's more! 
They keep coming! How many are there? There's more of them. Too many of them. Take the flame here down. Sure about that? They go down pretty easy. <laughs> Descend while we have a chance. Get ah! Fall off! Fall off! Yeah, I remember something like that. The red hair dies now. Everyone. Forward. Oh no. Burn it all, then to your task. As you command. Kaboom.
I know, they're so dumb. There is blasphemy! She should be near her mother! But hey, at least you won the proving. <laughs> Where's my focus? There, with the rest of my things. It must be the damaged focus, the one I took from that kill. Excavations and proceed at once to the mission point. Avoid all contact with Nora's savages, but if you are seen, kill every witness. Target imaging attached. Do not fail. That is a jerk.
Aloy. You are awake. You brought me here? Quickly. You must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. Are you saying I was born here? Inside the mountain? It is easier if I show you. <laughs> I'm glad they didn't show what happened to him. <laughs> My imagination ran wild with that. Why did you bring me here? It seemed you were dying, and to die near one's mother was sacred. Lantra fought it, of course, but Jezza sided with me. Is my mother here? Am I going to meet her? It's complicated. Please, just follow me. Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. What are you talking about? Come. What is this place? The Great Chamber, where all mother slew the metal devil and gave birth to you. Aloy, the Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others, like Lansra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But... This isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. My mother? <gasps> oh. Oh. oh, for identity scan. I like what happened to him. <laughs> Registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No, no. Please. Aloy, all mother spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me. Because I look like her. But their <laughs> power is overwhelming. Computers is there are no dumb. Other trail to follow? Owen. He was one of the outsiders. The night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. 
so you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? Shh. There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. You said the tribe is on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. How was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy. As though she would not want us to help ourselves. Then, what's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. The other high matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the goddess spoke to Aloy. Told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister, for once lands Oh yeah, she's the bad one. With us. <laughs> this will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking and may she never be seen again. of the one goddess we hereby anoint you a seeker of the nora tribe no barrier can now stay you from your sacred task may all mother protect you and sustain you stay true does the bad matriarch betray them in some I way i can't remember <laughs> Tirsa, what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Hey, yes. Stuart. And with the right to return when you are done. Or as the need arises. Okay, I must be thinking of something else. So, I can go anywhere at all. No restrictions. Even to forbidden places, like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight. Or the ruins of the metal world. I see. Have there been other seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Rost a seeker? No, not a seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. What was... done with Rost's body? I'm afraid there was... very little left to recover. But what there was... we buried at the place where he raised you. With flowers on the grave. Thank you. Why are the ruins of the metal world forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked. Like the children of metal who built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder all mother, her wrath leveled their cities, but could not cleanse their sin. Their ancient spite haunts those ruins, 
ready to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. But I've been in a ruin. It looked a lot like the inside of Allmother. That cannot be so. It is. Uh, then, this is something beyond my understanding. I will trust you to reveal the truth. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes. But it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive. And most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No. But you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the Embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. Oh, Varl. <laughs> Why are the lands beyond Nora territory called Tainted? Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the one goddess, all mother, source of all that lives. Beyond her sight lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the Seeker Blessing will protect you. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a Seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all Mother bless you and watch over you. Been Nora mad. faithful! Thanks for not being a bitch like the other lady. Purify your hearts. Soon we will beg forgiveness for the sins that brought such misery on the tribe. The outcast girl. So she survived her wounds. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. the report I need the gate opened <laughs> since when has any outcasts need been my concern since I was anointed a seeker now open the gate you a seeker have Tissa and Jezza gone insane bad enough that they let you run in the proving but to nurse you back to health inside the sacred mountain no wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. And where were you when those children were being slaughtered? Or the war party ambushed? Guarding your little gate here? I am the Nora War Chief, and this gate is Mother's Watch. I have been anointed a seeker by the High Matriarchs, so do as I say and open the gate, or we will settle this in blood. The sooner you're gone from here, the better. What was that? Quicker, just kill him. By the goddess, what's it doing to them? We're taking control. Break 
Brace yourselves! Kill them, Braves! Kill them all! Braves, ready yourselves! Today we fight a curse! A demon! Oh, my give us strength! Won't be long. Gotta get in position. Here it comes. Attack! The Striders! It's driven them mad! of wire looks like it'll hold i just need to test it aloy how did you do that tev what are you doing here you're a stitcher not a brave i came to help defend mother's watch but i never imagined i'd see anything like this you killed that demon pulled its guts from the carcass the way it controls other machines I think I've figured it out, but I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the Embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from All Mother. No matter what Ress says. <sighs> Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. Braves! I want that gate repaired immediately. I don't care if you have to bandage it together. Get it done. I need to test this device. See what it can do. Rom! It's your sister! Olara! Now what? How did I trigger someone? Should go and fight, then go through all of this to wind up trampled by a frightened herd. They're all on edge now.
Whoever's doing that needs to stop. <laughs> go. That a boy. That's more like it. Yeah. 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 Ride. <laughs> this strider is fast. <laughs> this beats walking. I should try overriding other kinds of machines. Probably can't ride them all, but I might find a use for them. Watch yourselves! Bring it closer! Closer! There's Varl. Poor Varl. Varl, I take it? <laughs> Aloy, the outcast who won the proving. So you survived your wounds. High Matriarch Tirsa said you might know the way to Meridian. The capital of the Karja Sundom? You seek exile? No, a traitor named Olin. The Matriarchs made me a seeker so I could go after him. Huh. Well, then you should head north to Mother's Crown. If you make yeah. it, talk to Morea. She'll point the way. If I make Justice it? for Varl. The trail is dangerous. Ever since the War Party Massacre, our lands go unpatrolled, and our borders unguarded. We have no war chief to lead us. Isn't that Resh's job? Ugh. Only because Sona went missing. I'd go after her myself, but she ordered me to hold this gate with my life. And so I have. You said the trail is dangerous. What sorts of dangers? <laughs> Almost too many to name. The killers are still out there, and somehow they've corrupted the machines, spreading madness. Yes, I've seen it myself. Bandits, too. Cutthroats who snuck across the border to prey on us. The word is, there's a camp in the metal ruins upriver. Sounds like I need to craft more arrows. You said I won the proving. How did you know that? And I spoke to survivors. They said you fought bravely, as did Bast. And my sister. Your sister was Bala? I'm... I'm very sorry. I, I liked her. I think we might have even become friends... if we'd had a chance. Thank you. She died saving others. There is no better death. You said the war party was massacred. How? When word came of the attack on the Proving, War Chief Sona assembled a war party to give chase. But in their haste to get vengeance, some braves broke rank and raced ahead, straight into a trap. A pack of crazed machines, seething with corruption, fell upon the braves and savaged them. War Chief Sona led a countercharge and destroyed the machines, but by then the killers were gone. And our losses were extreme. You said Warchief Sona is missing? 
Even when the war party was massacred, she wouldn't give up the chase. She called for volunteers and went after the killers. You didn't volunteer? Of course I did. But Sona denied me that. She ordered me to see the wounded back to the embrace. And to guard this gate. To guard the embrace. With my life. That was days ago. And since then there's been no word from her. So there's no way to know if she's alive or dead. If anyone could survive out there, it would be her. Sona's prowess is legend. An unbending spear to measure ourselves against. Sounds like she sets a high standard. Oh, you have no idea. She's my mother. I should be on my way. Aloy, before you make the journey to Mother's Crown and beyond, is there any chance you could search for Sona? The tribe needs her leadership. Now, I'd go after her myself if she hadn't commanded me to hold this gate at all costs. Where was she last seen? The war party massacre site. A wooded hollow across from Devil's Thirst, on this side of the river. You might be able to pick up her trail there. Now, she went after the killers who attacked the Proving, who killed those we love, who tried to kill you, and... I, I get it, Varl. I'll see what I can do. Strider! Uh, no, no, don't attack. It's with me. It's with me. How is that possible? It's hard to explain. Something I discovered. I see. May the goddess protect. And on that note, it's nice to see Varl again. But I gotta go to work tomorrow and yada yada yada. <laughs> I was about to say it's Tuesday, no it's Monday. <laughs> Yes, thanks for everyone who watched. Uh, there's more streams tomorrow. I'm too tired to remember, but... I think I'm playing God of War. I don't remember what Kim and Pete, Phil, and Kevin are playing, but I'm sure it's good. <laughs> anyway, have a good night, everyone. Bye.